So have you ever wondered how to clean an SLR camera? Um, they can be kind of complicated and a little bit intimidating, but this lesson we're going to take a look at how to do that. It's pretty important and it's important to the life of the camera, making sure that um, you don't ruin your sensor or things like that. And you can see here in the video I'm actually pointing out a lot of the spots where dust will collect, which can become sort of inconvenient and irritating when you're using the camera. So to do that we're going to need these body caps right here. I'm putting those aside. I'll show you what to do with them in a second. And you'll need here some lens cleaning fluid, um, pretty much standard at any camera shop and even at a lot of stores. You'll need a brush like this, and it's kind of a softer brush. It also serves as a blower. You can see there when it blows little puffs of air out. And uh, the brush is important. Um, you want a brush that you can use on your lenses and then a separate brush that you use sort of more on the camera. You also have here a microfiber cleaning cloth, and this one is just one that I use for the body of my cameras. You can also use wipes. I don't not going to use them in this video, but that was an example of a wipe. And then there's the little black brush is sort of a hard body brush with hard bristles that I use for cleaning stuck on dirt on cameras. And then you can see the Q-tips and the eraser. And I'll tell you, you'll get to see the Q-tips and the eraser sort of towards the end of the video. So, all right, first we're going to start by taking off the lens. This is a very important step because uh, the lens we'll be doing in a separate video. Put the body cap on and put the lens caps on both ends of your lens. You want to make sure that you're protecting your glass. So we'll put the we'll put that lens aside and here we go, ready to start on cleaning the camera. So pick it up in your hand and start by just removing the really superficial dust with your cleaning cloth. And this is just, like I said, this is a cleaning cloth that used to be a lens cloth and now I because I used it for a couple years as a lens cloth, it became kind of dirty and disgusting and I never cleaned it off. So now I use it as a body as a body cloth for just cleaning off whenever my camera gets wet or dirty or something like that. You can see there I took out a sort of flash shoe protector and I tried to take off the viewfinder. There's a little rubber eye cup that apparently on this camera doesn't come off very well, so I left it. And um, so I've done the basic wipe down, and now it's time to take a look at some of the really stuck on dirt in some of the really fine corners. That spot where I'm brushing right now with the sort of hard bristle brush is kind of a spot that a lot of cameras get a lot of stuck on dirt in. And right there you can see I'm actually going towards the kind of the spot where the um, where the carrying strap or the strap for the camera um, there's two little holders on each side of the camera and that gets really dirty too. Um, I also just opened the connections sort of little door at the end. There's a little rubber gummy cover. Removed that and cleaned underneath it. Now I'm kind of moving to the bottom of the camera. Take a look inside the battery compartment and I would also give the battery compartment a good look. Make sure there's the the connections aren't corroded or anything. There's no green goop on any of the connections. Um, take a look at the battery itself. Uh, make sure everything is kosher. Open the gates on that side of the, or open the doors on that side of the camera and wipe out. Make sure there's no dust sitting around. You can see in this camera case, the battery compartment had a lot of dust around the inside. So I wiped that out with our little black um, body brush. And there on the top again, I'm going for some more stuck on dirt. Now I'm going to do a really quick clean around the mount. And you notice I'm holding it sort of with the sensor sort of up. You can see the sensor is in the back of the camera and I don't want to clean it with it on its back so that the dirt flies up and lands inside of the camera. I want the dirt, I want to use gravity to my advantage and let the dirt fall. So wipe that off and now we're going to go for the viewfinder I think. It looks like that's what I'm doing because the viewfinder is a spot that for some reason on all of my cameras at least gets really dirty. Now you can see I switched brushes. This is important. That brush that I'm using is just mostly for um, I use it a little bit for the body, but mostly just for glass, just for cleaning off the glass. So I don't want to use that hard little bristled brush that I have on the glass because it'll scratch it, but the other brush has softer bristles. So here you can see me going around again with the hard bristle brush. Apparently there's some more stuck on dirt sort of sticking around that viewfinder. And I think we're going to come back to this viewfinder later with some Q-tips. So there I am brushing off sort of the superficial stuff again. Um, the hard bristle brush isn't as good at wiping the dirt, dirt dust away as the, as the soft one, so a lot of times I'll use the hard bristle, bristle brush to get the real stuck on dirt off, and then I'll come along with the other one to wipe it away. Now we're going to pull out a Q-tip, and we're going to get some lens cleaning fluid, and I am going to clean that little viewfinder. There we go. Um, popped it on its side there. And uh, here you can see it doesn't might not look like this, but I'm not pushing very hard. I'm just gently sort of 
wiping off the le the the little lens inside of the viewfinder and um now I've switched q tip sides and I'm using the drier end to sort of soak up all the lens cleaning cleaning fluid that I spread on the glass and trying to catch any dirt and things like that. Uh, the viewfinder is important that it's clear so that you can your eyes can focus and see the image clearly. It'll it'll allow um it'll just really enhance your viewing experience as well. Looking through a clean viewfinder, sometimes I'll feel like my photos look funny <laughs> and then I'll realize that my viewfinder is just has been very dirty. Um, so I'm wiping around now and doing the sort of control like kind of between the controls there's a lot of little contours on this camera and I'm sort of cleaning out the little cracks and crevices where um, things get stuck on. I'm using uh, that's a fairly damp um, q-tip but you can see right there I'm actually sort of dabbing some of the liquid off onto my finger because sometimes it can be a little too wet. You want to make sure that whenever you're wiping off um, a camera that it's not being soaked. Cameras don't like to get wet, or at least most cameras don't like to get wet. So you want to just use a um, sort of a slightly damp Q-tip. Here I'm going back around the viewfinder again, more spots where I can't seem to get the darn dust off. So around the hot shoe and stuff, especially on horizontal surfaces, you're going to get a lot of dust. Um, especially on this camera because I actually had just bought this one as a gift for my sister and it had been sitting in, on someone's uh, bookshelf for some time. So um, when a camera like this is in a camera bag, it will get less dirty. It'll get dirty when you go out and shoot, like maybe on a construction site or uh, on a windy day or something like that. You'll get lots of dirt and things like that in there, but, but otherwise you're generally okay. All right, so now we've got the Q-tip cleaning detail of the back there. This is kind of a detail sort of job. You can hear, you hear people talking about detailing a car. Well, this is kind of like detailing a camera. You're getting all the dirt off in every little spot that a camera gets dirty. All right, so we're going to go back again, um, and here we're going to do the screen. Screen is of an LCD gets very dirty because you're pressing your face up against um, that all the time, and all the oil from your face gets on there. And a lot of times you won't realize it, but there are layers and layers of dirt on top of your screen. And even when it kind of looks pretty clean, it's actually not that clean. So you'll just have to go over it a few times. And you can see here I've only had to go over it twice. This one was cleaner than a camera that's been used a lot. Um, generally this camera had been sitting for a while. So I'm going over it with that microfiber cloth after I've wet it down with um, a q-tip I'm kind of cleaning it up and again I've found another spot where there's some more oil or something stuck on the screen. Alright so that looks like I've got the screen pretty clean and now I'm going back to q-tipping more fine detailed corners things like that um, your hands are pretty dirty, and when you're walking around all day with a camera in your hand, you can get quite a lot of dirt on a camera. So, um, again, this is another detail sort of thing. I'm cleaning where the straps on the camera uh, connect to the camera, and this is really not an important job. You don't have to necessarily do that, but I'm doing it just because. And I'm cleaning off just pretty superficial dirt that was on around the shutter, which can also get a little grimy when your fingers running across it all day. And that spot where I'm working right now around that dial is particularly famous on almost any camera with a dial like that it gets very dirty. So um, I had to go over that one a few times. So now I'm going to go and go back to the mount. So we tried the first time we cleaned off with the hard brush and now we're going to come back with the Q-tip and sort of just run the Q-tip around the edge of the mount and I'm not using a lot of water. I do not, or not a, a lot of lens cleaning fluid. I do not want anything to drip inside of this camera. So anything that's going near the opening to your camera, unless you want to turn your camera into a paperweight, you want to just make sure that you're using just a lightly damped um, uh, Q-tip or um, material um, tool. So wiping around again and again. This spot gets kind of dirty because a lot of dust will land on the edge of the lens in the camera and then you're taking the lens on and off and dust will fall into the mount and so you want to just go over it quite a few times. And actually when I was doing it I had to go over it quite a bit. This is all sped up quite a bit. Um, you're seeing sort of a um, time-lapse version of this cleaning job. So alright we're just about done with that. We've got the edges especially around the edge. Like I said, it'll get pretty dirty. Now I'm going to hold the camera up like before. and I'm going to brush off the prism in the top so you can see me right 
underneath Nikon there, there's a flat surface that has a prism that you're looking down through onto a mirror. Now I'm brushing the mirror off, and those will both get dust on them. Cameras are electronic things, and so dust is attracted to them just like they're attracted to TVs and radios and computers. So dust will get sucked inside of there as soon as you open this camera, and it's always sitting on the prism and on the mirror, and sometimes in very bad situations it's sitting on the sensor. So now I'm also going in real quickly with a super, super, very, very um, lightly dampened uh, Q-tip and wiped off the mirror. Um, did use both ends to do that, so it dried it off as well. And that's pretty much everything you need for the inside. Um, then I closed it up there, and I guess when I was doing that, I found one little spot. There's a little button there that allows you to um, dismount the lens, and I found another spot where I had missed. You can it's amazing how many little corners you can find on a camera when you're actually cleaning it. Then I popped open the flash because I realized I'd forgotten that and looked around and there's a little bit of dust that kind of settled in there. There's a little, there's kind of a little groove in there and so you might want to check on your lens. In the back where the lens pops up there's sometimes a little bit of a space where the dust could someday after years and years of use slide down in there. So you just want to make sure that everything is clean, every surface inside and out. So there you go, there you have it. Your camera is pretty much clean. We have one little detail left and that is the flash shoe right there on the top and sometimes the contact points will get a little dirty so right there I'm just putting a little bit of moisture on a q-tip and again um, lens cleaning fluid and wiping that off. This one was pretty dirty like I said because it had been sitting, or sitting out for a while and apparently the cover wasn't on it all the time because it was still pretty dirty. So close up that, we're done with the fluid, and as a last step, I'm just running a racer over those contact points. Now, this is an optional thing, but sometimes uh, running an eraser over your electrical contacts will help you clean it. All right, so now uh, we're done with the cleanup job, and I'm just going to put the strap on the camera here. Um, and this is a kind of a job that took me a lot longer <laughs> than it should have, so we're just going to fade the video out here and um, move on to our next lesson. Um, in the next unit, actually, we're at the end of uh, this unit. In the next unit, we're going to be talking about the basic technical things that you're going to need to know to make great photographs.